Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be applying 36 lipsticks and trying to downsize because this is not okay. The situation in my makeup drawer is just not acceptable. The other day, if you have watched my video about me doing my makeup with makeup that I don't really use, you would have seen me going through about six lipsticks trying to find a shade that I actually like. So I realized right there and right then that my lipstick and lip gloss, whatever, collection really needs some attention. So we better start applying because there are a lot of lipsticks to get through. Let's start with this one because why not? This is a Chanel Rouge Coco 59 in Dedicate. This is not like the most perfect application that I have ever done but what do we think? I'm not quite sure about this guys. This might have to go in a maybe pile because I used to like this lipstick quite a bit but I think I've grown out of the shade. Kind of more thinking no rather than yes. So you know when you start thinking like, but it's a Chanel lipstick. I've paid a lot of money for it. What's the point of keeping it if you're not using it? Next one we have here is Milani and this is Matte Innocence. I actually know that I like this lipstick. I really, really like that shade. It's a beautiful nude, very matte, but very very comfortable to wear, not drying, so this is definitely a yes. I think after about 10 lipstick I'm so gonna regret this video because my lips will be like screaming for help and screaming for some lip balm. Next I have Autograph in Cashmere. Let's see, hmm, this looks nice, got a glossy. I'm actually really liking the kind of more nude brown shades but I am keeping this one. But I want to try all the nudes first because the reds obviously will stain my lips more. We are going to go in with the YSL Rouge Volupt, Volupte, not sure how do you pronounce it, but it's a, another pinky nude. Let's see how this is on. This is one of the lipsticks that I tried in that video and was like, no. This is such a creamy lipstick. It's so, so good. And I don't mind it today, maybe I just wasn't in a mood for it on that day, but I actually don't mind it. Am I talking myself into it and basically telling myself to keep it? Well, I am actually enjoying this one today, so mm, we might have to keep this one. We're nude in Swan 263. Oh, nice. Literally just bit off a little bit of the lipstick. I like this one, you guys. I don't need five lipsticks that are almost the same shade. Right, next one I have here is the Bourjois Edition, Rouge Edition Velvet. Very, very matte. It looks good. Formula is amazing on this. This is one of the most comfortable matte, like, lipsticks um, that I have ever worn. And I actually remember having quite a few shades of this, but I gave a few away because I just wore it wasn't wearing them. This is not going as I thought this will go. I thought I'll be like, no, no, no. And all I'm saying, I have five lipsticks that I said yes to and one that I've said maybe to. What have we got? We have a number seven blushing tulip 555. I'm not gonna even bother about perfecting this because I know that this is a no. I just wouldn't wear this color, that's all. I'm just... God, this application, I should be embarrassed. I am a little bit embarrassed. So far, we've tried seven lipsticks, way! Still have quite a way to go. Let's try the YSL Rouge Pour Couture in number 10. Um, I think I'm gonna say no to this one just because it's a very, very close shade to actually my lips and it almost like washes it out. It actually makes me really happy when I put one in the no pile. What is this? Bobbi Brown lip color in pale pink number 21. They literally all look identical, don't they? I just know people that have like one lipstick and until that lipstick has finished they will not buy another one and that's exactly how I would like to be. But I'm a hoarder so that's just not gonna happen, is it? It's not too nude, it's not too pink. Hmm, I'll have to keep this one. It might be my favorite so far. We have H&M in London season. Wow, this is so, so draggy. Like, quite hard to apply. Okay, I guess. It's not like blowing my mind. 
I, I love H&M creamy lipsticks, like glossy lipsticks. I don't know about the matte ones. So this is going into a no pile. Nuke uh, Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Mm, you know what, guys? This is a definite yes, because this is what I usually wear on, like, a daily basis. I don't really do lipsticks. I prefer a gloss. From there, I'm going to try the L'Oreal... Uh, Paris Rose Melody 101. This used to be my absolute favorite gloss. Yeah, look how glossy and how like even and beautiful it looks. Uh, I just have to, I have to, have to keep this one. Let's try the Pixie by Petra formula on this. is amazing. I was just not sure about the color. And the application could do with some improvement, but never mind. I'm trying to get through this before the sunset basically but yeah here was the lipstick guess thing I don't know I'm still on the fence about this one I have a matte lipstick from MAC this is in please me pink this is very very pink it's nice in summer though with the bronzed skin it kind of looks cute please let me know about the pixie and let me know about the please me um, MAC the one that I'm wearing right now because I'm not sure I don't know why I'm so scared of bright colors like I think they're just so out of my comfort zone I have a gloss from Sleek this is a gloss me in Angel Folds number 20 oh this is not what I expected also it's extremely patchy and I'm hating the applicator don't like it let's try another one from Nukes this is a soft matte lip cream in Istanbul. Beautiful formula again. Why am I liking this? I really really like it you guys. I think I'm gonna keep this one and also it feels really comfortable on. Let's try this one. This is the Autograph Lasting Color Intense Liquid Lipstick in Mulberry. I actually quite like it even though it has purple in it and normally I would say no to a purple shade. It goes on like a dream so what else could you ask for really? Let's try a gloss. This is a Chanel gloss, a Rouge Allure gloss in Sensible. I think my mom gave this to me. Here we go. This is our Chanel Sensible. It's nice. It's very very glossy, very rich, looks very like juicy. Um, I like that. I think it's a beautiful gloss for summer and also my mama gave it to me so I have to keep it. So this is the Sisley Fito lip gloss in number three. Oh no no no. Let me see the applicator. What in the world is that Sisley? I, I don't even really know what to say because it's so patchy. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more just for you to see the full damage because this is just horrid. Let's try the Dior Addict Gloss in 154. Really? Again? I mean, this is at least not as fluffy as the other one. Oh no. And if you are into glitter and into shimmer, this will be right up your street. I just don't want to keep anything that I know someone will enjoy much more. Oh, uh, okay, so this doesn't even want to come off now. Chunks of glitter are sticking to my lips. Hey, Kiri, are you hot? Are you really hot? <laughs> oh, Tink, lying down on a little cloud. Let's continue. What have we got? I have a Clarins lip gloss. I absolutely love this gloss. I know this. I usually just throw it in my bag and if I just want to top my lips up. I have a L'Oreal Sexy Balm. This is just like a chubby stick. I just think this makes your lips look really plump. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this one. Let's try the Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this because this stinks. Um, this is in Pinkwell, by the way, but I really like it. It is stinging a lot. I need to take it off. I really, really need to take this off. Ah! Fire! I got my balcony open and obviously our neighbors are quite close to us from both sides and sometimes I sit and film here and I think oh my god if they can hear me they think uh, I uh, something is wrong with me. 
<laughs> Sometimes I think that too. Uh, let's try the Clinique Marimekko collaboration and this is in um, Tender Heart. I absolutely love this gloss. This is one of my like recent purchases. Oh my god, my lips are still on fire. I love this shade. I love this formula. I love the packaging as well. So I'm keeping this one. Okay, when will the stinging stop? I need to drink some milk. <laughs> but I don't drink milk. Okay, not too far to go, you guys. I have a Glossier Generation G in like. like this is just one coat, and can you even tell that I put anything on? To be honest, this is uh, a bit of a pass for me. Let's try this Whipped Lip Mousse from H&M, and this is in a shade XOXO. That's cute. Looking at this, I would say this is a no. Even though it's beautiful. This is gorgeous. I mean, to be honest, H&M does a great job with their lip products. Let's try the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Can't find the shade anywhere. This is very, very nice. I think I'm definitely going to keep this one. It's very, very comfortable on the lips as well. Let's try the Christian Dior Diorific Matte Fluid in 001. Let's just have a moment of appreciation for the packaging. This is not as rich and pigmented as the ones that I have just tried. This is lovely actually. This is so like rosy and cute. I'm definitely keeping it for many reasons, not just because it looks pretty. This one is actually another Dior gloss. This is the Fluid Stick in Magic. This smells very alcoholy. Mm. I don't know if this is like the normal scent of this lip gloss or is it, I don't know, a bit old. It feels so strange on. It's almost like water. It feels so wet on. I'm not hating it, but I'm not like diehard loving it. So I'm going to put it in a in a maybe pile. Then I have the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink in 150 Luxuriant. This is a rich, rich, rich colour. Look how stunning this is. This is so rich. It's like, you know, it's such an explosion of colour, but it's so comfortable on. You don't feel like you're wearing anything at all. It's not pulling, it's not drying, it's not really creasing, not collecting anywhere. And I'm definitely keeping this because yeah, I mean, it's staining my teeth, but who cares? And then we have reds. I have quite a few reds here. I'm just gonna pick these two Chanel lipsticks. I have one in Pirate, and I have one in Passion. One of these my mom gave me. Uh, I can't remember which one. I believe this is the Passion 104. Okay, yeah, I didn't really spend that much time on application, as you can tell. Yeah, I will have to see the difference between this one and the other Chanel, because the formula is great, application is great, super rich, super smooth, super pigmented. Yeah, this is definitely an orange or red. My normally steady hand is definitely given up on me by now. Guys, I think I prefer this one. But this is more of a Coca-Cola red, like an orangey red, and I think that that actually suits me better. So I think I'm gonna keep the Pirate 99 and give the 101 away. Right, I have a Le Boutin lipstick here. Um, I don't know if I have ever worn this. I think this was given to me as a gift. That's not very pigmented, is it, comparing to the other one? I just don't know if I would bother paying so much money for something so not pigmented. I think a lip gloss or, you know, H&M lipstick could give you a very similar result. This is a little bit patchy as well. Yeah, kind of disappointing. I have a MAC lipstick. This is the Ruby Woo. Uh, one of my absolute favorite red mattes. This is a gorgeous red. I mean, this is just an absolute stunner of a lipstick. But yeah, this is this is beautiful. I have to keep it. I have two more red lipsticks here. Uh, let's go with the Rouge Edition Velvet. This one is in Grand Cru 08. This might look a bit vampy on me. This is a beautiful formula. This is a gorgeous lipstick, but it's a little bit dark for me. I think next lipstick is our last lipstick, guys. And the last lipstick we have is the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. Oh my god, this is so wet. It feels like putting some wet gel on your lips. This is basically a very similar effect that the La Boutin lipstick had. It's not too bright. It's just giving you a really nice, like, 
wash of color, uh, but this is ridiculously expensive and this is not. So between these two, I'm gonna keep the Revlon one and I'm gonna give this one away. And that, my friends, is it. I am tired. I didn't think that 36 lipstick is that much, but that was intense, you guys. My lips are like, they feel really plumped, but I don't think it's because of a plumping gel, it's because I've been rubbing them so much. These are all the lipstick that I am giving away or the ones that I'm not sure about. If you 100% insist on me keeping any of them, let me know. So I'm keeping 22. Is that good? I think 22 is better than 36. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope I can edit this video down to, I don't know, 10-15 minutes because I think I have been here for about an hour now if not more. But yeah, thanks a lot for hanging out. I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Oh, now I'm ready for a nap.